All right, welcome back, guys. We are doing the Python Learn With Me series, and we are once again going over the Python Crash Course book. We are in chapter four, and today we will be working on exercise 13. So what we have learned so far between the last exercise and this one are what tuples are, tuples, I don't know how you pronounce it, and how to use them. So what a tuple is, is a, it's basically a list that you cannot edit. So what I mean by that is if I were to have this up here and I were to try and add something, it would get printed out with this at the very end of this list. But if I were to make this a tuple list, this would not work. It would give me an error and it would tell me can't do that to a tuple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new file, save as so we can format like usual. All right, we're gonna start by commenting out our name and date. Now we're gonna call this the tuple or sorry buffet list because the example wants us to make a list of buffet items so a buffet style restaurant offers only five basic foods think of five simple foods and then store them in a tuple so we're gonna call this item buffet foods and instead of a square bracket, like how we normally do for lists, instead, we're going to use parentheses. So let's come up with five foods that we can put into this tuple list. Bacon. Bagels. And one more. Let's do sausage links. Okay, so we have our tuple list, and then it wants us to use a for loop to print each food the restaurant has. So we're going to say for food in Buffet foods print food. So when we save this and we run this code, It gives us everything in this tuple list. Banana, eggs, bacon, bagels, sausage link. So the next thing it wants us to do is try to modify one of the items and make sure that Python rejects the change. So what that means is if we try to reassign a value, so let's say in buffet foods, and then we do the list item zero. So let's try to change bananas. And we try to reassign this to pizza and save this. When we run this code, it'll give us a trace back saying type error tuple object does not support item assignment so this will not work to change the item list in a tuple but the next thing it wants us to do it says the restaurant changes its menu replacing two of the items with different foods add a line that rewrites the tuple and then use a for loop to print each of the items on the revised menu so how we do that is just slightly different. We're still going to be using a similar scheme to this. The only difference is we need to change the entire list in the form of a tuple. So 
let's just copy over this tuple paste it in so we're gonna change sausage links we're gonna change this to i don't know breaks and we're gonna change bagels over to toast sure so now when we save this this will rewrite over the original tuple i know you said you couldn't edit it and technically we are not editing we are creating a an entirely new tuple over this so now we can use our for loop for food in buffet oops i got this for foods print food when we run this code, it should give us two different lists. So it's kind of hard to tell where these two lines end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a separate print statement here. And I'm going to move it to a new line. Now I'm also going to add in line before this one. So now when we save this and run it, it should be a little bit easier to read. This is the buffet menu and it gives us our original tuple list, banana, eggs, bacon, bagel, sausage links. And here is the revised menu, banana, eggs, bacon, instead of bagels, we have toast and instead of sausage links, we have crepes. So that has been exercise 13. If you have found this helpful, give this video a like, share it, and if you want, subscribe. In the next example, we are going to be going over example 14 and learning just a little bit more about our for loops as well as how to work with these lists and ranges and such. See you guys in the next one.